find the compound interest on rupees 6250 at 14% per annum for 2 years compounded annually. Now here suppose you have deposited an amount of rupees 6250 in the bank. The bank has promised you to pay a compound interest at the rate of 14% per annum for 2 years. So now you are trying to find out what is the amount of interest that you will get after 2 years when the interest is being compounded annually. So here the principal amount is 6250 rupees. Now this amount has been deposited in a bank for a period of 2 years. Now the bank has promised to pay a compound interest of 14% per annum. So per year you get an interest of 14% on the amount for that year. Now this interest is being compounded annually. So what this means is for the first year you are getting an interest of 14% on 6250 rupees. Now since this is compounded annually for the second year the principal will become the original principal which is 6250 plus the interest obtained in the first year which will be 14% of 6250. So this is the principal for the second year and on this amount another 14% interest will be calculated. So this is what is meant by compounded annually. So at the end of every year the interest will be added to the principal which was at the beginning of that year and that whole amount which includes the principal in the beginning of that year plus the interest gained during that year and that whole amount will become the principal for the next year. So here at the end of first year principal is equal to 6250 plus 14% of 6250. So this is the amount that you are getting at the end of first year and this goes in into the second year as the principal amount on which again you'll get 14%. So the amount at the end of two years will be equal to the principal plus the principal multiplied by 14% or 14% of the principal. Now let me denote this principal as P1 because this is P. So or the amount is equal to so P1 is this expression so 6250 plus 14% of 6250 is 14 divide by 100 multiplied by 6250 plus P1 again is the same so 6250 plus 14 divided by 100 multiplied by 6250 and this whole multiplied by 14 by 100 so this is basically the expression 14 percent of P so or A is equal to so here I'm just trying to simplify this this expression first so let me take 6250 as common so then this becomes 1 plus so here also 6250 has been taken common 14 divided by 100 plus again the same thing 6250 is common then 1 plus 14 divided by 100 
and this multiplied by 14 divided by 100. So or a is equal to now this is my first expression and this is my second expression because there is a plus sign here. So from these I can take this expression common that is 6250 multiplied by 1 plus 14 by 100 because it is present in both the first and the second expression. So let me take this common so 6250 into bracket 1 plus 14 by 100 and then I get so this will be replaced by 1 so 1 and then this plus sign so plus so this is again 1 so 1 multiplied by 14 by 100 is 14 by 100 so this is equal to 6250 into bracket 1 plus 14 by 100 whole square because this is the same so 1 plus 14 by 100 multiplied by 1 plus 14 by 100 so this is equal to 6250 1 plus 14 divided by 100 is 0 0.14 square 6250 1.14 square and this is equal to so let me pull my calculator here so 1 point one four square and then multiplied by six two five zero so this is equal to eight one two two point five so this is equal to eight one two two point five now this is the amount that you will get at the end of two years. So amount is equal to 8122.5 rupees. Now we have been asked to find out the compound interest. So the compound interest will be the total amount that you get at the end of two years minus your original investment which is 6250 rupees. So compound interest is equal to 8122.5 minus 6250.0 so 5 this is 2 this becomes 0 1 carry over 12 minus 5 is 7 let's make this 7 1 carry over so 10 minus 2 is 8 and 7 minus 6 is 1 so 1000 872.5 rupees is the compound interest that you'll get at the end of two years. Now this was the long way to find out the answer. So we can also use a formula which is nothing but the same as this expression here. So the formula goes like this A which is the amount is equal to P which is the original principle multiplied by 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power N so N is the number of years so if we take a look at this here the amount was equal to 6250 which is the principle and this multiplied by 1 plus 14 percent which is the rate of interest per annum and whole square that is the power of 2 and 2 is the number of years which is n so this also becomes 6250 this p into bracket 1 plus r which is 14 divided by 100 square and this will be equal to 6250 multiplied by 1.14 whole square which is equal to again the same thing 8122.5 rupees so this is the amount again you'll subtract 6250 from this amount to get the compound interest